Kelly Dee, and today I'm going to share with you another recipe from the tamarind. Now, if you happen to have a glut of tamarinds in your neck of the woods, I would have shared with you a number of recipes that you can use this delicious fruit for, and today is no exception. We will be making tamarind chutney. This recipe is quick and easy, and if you have a party or special occasion and you want to spice up the event, you can use this dip with some type of chip, preferably a corn chip or a plain chip, and it will be the talk of the town. So now let's go over the ingredients. We have about one cup of the tamarind pulp. I would have shown you how to get the tamarind pulp in another video. I'm going to link that in the eye cards above and the description box below. We have one cup of brown sugar, one and a half, tablespoon of green seasoning, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of white pepper, and one teaspoon of ground ginger. Our first step is to soak our tamarinds in hot water. We'll do this for about 10 to 15 minutes because we want to get the pulp so soft that it falls off of the seeds. It has been about 15 minutes and you will see the color for the tamarind has changed. It's a nice light color and it's so soft the pulp is literally falling off of the seeds. Now we're going to get ready to cook our tamarind pulp. Now under a medium heat we're going to put our soaked tamarind pulps in. If you want you can remove the seeds. I don't re remove the seeds at this stage and we're going to add all of the other ingredients and then allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes. and thick we we'll allow it to cook for another five minutes our chutney is really getting thick now if you have a swizzle stick it looks like this you can use it to help remove the pulp from the seeds but if you don't have a swizzle stick you can go ahead and you can also use a fork and I will just gently press the seeds up against the side of the saucepan and that also helps to remove the pulp and causes our chutney to become nice and thick. Now it's time to taste. Our tamarind chutney is done and it's always best with chips. Now it's time to taste. Tangy but terrific. Tamarind chutney now you need to try it. If you have enjoyed this tamarind recipe, I want you to look over here, see some of my other tamarind recipes, and once you've watched them all, just click the button below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you.